This is Eric in the Martin IT department. This will be a brief list of best practices for detecting a fraudulent email. This will be a quick list of ways to help you review the validity of an email message. As we've been discussing recently, criminals are sending messages all the time, hoping to entice you into doing something that could put the company at risk. But they're not always that good at hiding their tracks, and hopefully this brief tutorial will help you look for characteristics of an email that will either make you feel a little bit better, or will at least set off a waving red flag of caution. Now, every message is intended to communicate something, so if you're not sure an email is communicating something familiar, then ask yourself, what is the message intending or asking you to do? So let's look at some fraudulent messages and walk through what they're trying to convey. Now, every message you're about to see was a legitimately illegitimate message. And the other thing that you'll notice is that I'm gonna hover over the links, but I will never click them. And we'll get to that part in a moment. But we'll start with this message where nothing is legitimate about it. Nothing legitimate about this message whatsoever. It claims to be from Sophia Marguez, or is it Nico at virtualzong.com? Sophia slash Nico is claiming that they've hidden a bomb in the building. Doesn't say which building, doesn't give it an address, but it does state that they will trade 20,000 American dollars uh, as a price for not setting off the bomb, and they want it in Bitcoin. The point is, is that we know that there's not any validity to this message whatsoever. It was intended uh, for someone in the uh, in inside sales. Uh, if they really wanted to capture the attention of someone uh, with a with a bomb threat, it would have been sent to someone in in upper management or in human resources. We're going to dismiss this one out of hand. We'll take a look at this message where the name appears legitimate, but the email address doesn't match. This one claims to be from Apple Incorporated. But if you'll take a close look at the email address, this is apple at kcheradio.com. There's very little chance, probably no chance at all, that a message from Apple intended to inform you about a purchase from the Apple Store would ever come from kcheradio.com. Plus, notice how if we hover over the link that appears in this message, it doesn't point to apple.com, it points to genesis of east louisville.com. Now this would indicate that genesis of east louisville.com probably got taken over by a group of hackers or a hacker and a malicious content was placed on this website. And all they're trying to do is lure you into clicking that link. We're going to not do anything with that. Now here's a message where neither the name nor the email address are legitimate, but there are at least one or two web links that may appear legitimate in the body. It comes from eFax, where it claims to come from eFax. And we used to do a lot of business with them. Not so much these days, but the point is, is that it can say that it comes from eFax, but notice how the actual sending address says efax at flumepsychiatry.com. Fairly certain that this is not a legitimate message because that's not how efax would compose a message intended for us. However, the privacy policy link down at the bottom does point to efax.com, and this link to the help center even points to efax.com. And those are legitimate links, but those are not the ones that they want you to click. They want you to click the big red get facts here click link. And that points to pitchdc.com. This is illegitimate, and this will bring a malicious content down to your computer. Another one that we've seen in the past comes from, or makes the claim to come from DocuSign. Now, I have no idea whether DocuSign actually makes their messages appear from DocuSign Electronic Signature Service, but none of their messages come from DocuSign at highbells.com. Now, if we were to scroll to the body here, we'll see that there are, that this help link points to accounts.docusign.com, as does this link to the support center. Those are legitimate. 
but that's not the one that the miscreant or the criminal wants you to click on. They want you to click on this one. And you'll see that the flyout says dharmawomen.org. That's not DocuSign. That's another reason why you need to scrutinize every message and make certain that you're looking at all of the content. Here's a message that declares to be a legitimate link with a legitimate sender. Who hasn't heard of Martin Corp? That's a company very near and dear to our hearts. And here's a link to securemail.martincorp.net. And it looks like it's fully fleshed out as a legitimate link from left side to the right side. But if you hover over it, you'll notice that it doesn't send you to martincorp.net, but it sends you to lifemed.kz. And the message was actually sent from service at QLplan or qplan.pl. .kz and .pl are both country codes for another company in the eastern, or countries from eastern hemispheres, or from the eastern hemisphere. Nothing about this message is legitimate. Here's a message that was intended to go to Carolyn McCauley, and it claims that Townsend Systems has been preventing the delivery of emails. But it doesn't mean anything legitimate uh, is or that there's anything legitimate about this message because Townsend System support doesn't mean anything to us. And C. Macaulay at TownsendSystems.com is not the actual sender. We'll get to that in just a moment. But first, we'll notice that the, uh, that the web link is just all over the place. Web, mail, domain, dot z9, dot web, dot core, dot windows, dot net. Even that's too complicated for me to follow. But if we were to look at the actual properties of the message and we were to go down here and look at the actual sender, we'd find out that it doesn't come from C. Macaulay and TownsendSystems.com, but it was actually received from AmiriConstructions.co.uk. That's in Great Britain. So just because it does say C. Macaulay and TownsendSystems.com does not mean that that's the actual sending or the origin point. And this last message is going to really demonstrate that. This last message claims to come from Victor Veitch that works for a company called Vulcan Group. Now, Vulcan Group is a legitimate company. They actually have a legitimate website. They have a supply chain where they have customers and they have suppliers. And they also use SharePoint. Now, in cloud systems like Microsoft Online or SharePoint or Dropbox, sometimes you can get into some really weird things because people do send and receive legitimate messages from SharePoint all the time or Dropbox all the time. But in this case, there are three links that appear here and the first two are designed to bluff you. If you were to click here, OneDrive.Live.com is the, e is the uh, link that, it, that shows up. If you were to click here, it says the same thing, OneDrive.Live.com. Live.com is a legitimate Microsoft domain. However, down here, in the actual link that it will take to open what you think is a, uh, is a, is a SharePoint document, it points to SuzukiBikeFairs.info, and again, this is probably a website that was hacked by someone and a malicious content was added to that, uh, to that website. But, the, but we didn't notice this at all. We only saw this and we saw this and we looked and said, man, I wonder if Victor Veitch is a legitimate sender. Vulcan Group is a legitimate company. Well, let's just take a look at it in depth. And when we looked at the properties of, the, of what's called the header, we noticed that the header said that the originating IP address had nothing to do with Vulcan Group. It actually came from Nigeria. This message originated in Africa, and they did a really good job of trying to obscure it so that someone would go to great lengths to see if it was legitimate. The sniff test really does matter. You have to be 
absolutely certain that you agree that everything about the message is legitimate. It is a requirement because criminals are working harder and harder to try to get closer and closer and to trick us into doing things. Skepticism is always your best defense. In any case, feel free to give us a call or to send us an email. Forward a message to us if you think it's illegitimate. 256-248-0444 or help at martincorp.net. Thanks a lot, everyone, and continue to be safe out there.